what happens is your body will, your, your, your immune cells will suck in that virus into these phagosomes, but without these catholicidins, you're not able to go and capture them and then lyse them and take them out. So let me show you here. This was a very nice paper that came out. And what it shows is, this is a paper that just came out, in fact, uh, March 2019, one year ago. Look what it says. Almost all catholicidins show in simple media direct antimicrobial activity against many different bacteria, viruses, fungi, and parasites. And by the way, these are these catholicidin molecules. This is in pig, this is in chicken, and this is in humans, LL37. And you can see here that right here that the bacteria, uh, as you give more and more CAMPs, look what happens. It kills bacteria, but it also does the same thing to viruses. By the way, those people on Instagram, when we end, I'll restart it again, so please come back about 142. Instagram has this problem that it only lets you go for an hour, so I'll restart it right when this ends. Now, what this happens is catholicidins literally attack a bacteria, and these catholicidins, see these little uh, triangular red things? These are things that literally go around the bacterial membrane or the viral membrane, and they literally break it up. They destroy the virus uh, or the bacterial membrane. They're like bullets. And I'll show you another example here. This is a control, this left column, and we're looking at different types of catholicidin's effects in pig, in, in chicken, and over here on humans. And what you see here is quite fascinating. I'm looking at the humans. Here's a beautiful bacteria that's preserved, and here you can see it's being disrupted. Same here in another case, that literally the catholicidin's go blow up and disrupt the bacteria. So, so, so bottom line, <laughs> Again, this is not my work. You know, uh, what I'm a systems guy, I put together and connect the dots with tools like Cytosol. What we're seeing here is that vitamin D is a powerful antimicrobial, but it has many, many other effects, okay? I don't want to just limit it to that. But bottom line, what vitamin D is doing is it's protecting you. It's So when people have in critical condition, or if you're with people who are hurt or, or they're infectious, please take vitamin D. If you don't believe me, go read the papers. I'm going to do it for myself. It's up to you if you do it for, for yourself. I take anywhere between five to 10,000 I use, but those people are surrounded by infection or have COVID-19. Take high dosage as I've written to the president if you want to review it. One second, I'm going to really start this up again, and I'm going to go live again. There we go. People will be coming back on Instagram. So that's that's how vitamin D works. Now, let's go on to vitamin C, okay? I mean vitamin A. Vitamin A, as you age, as you age, one of the things that happens is your thyroid level goes down, you get less vitamin A because your body's uh, not able to convert those beautiful green vegetables, those carotenoids, into vitamin A. Vitamin A is also recommended to the President of the United States that we should give high dosage vitamin A about 400,000 IU for two days, about 50,000 IU of vitamin D for two days for people who are, again, as a prophylactic, if you're surrounded by people having and you want to protect yourself or you take the, you know, the regimented dosages if you're a healthy person. And what vitamin A does, it literally produces these beautiful walls as I show you here. So here's your cells in green. Look at those beautiful red you know, walls. So these are cytokeratins, okay? Very much like vitamin C supports it, the vitamin A does it even more directly, okay? Vitamin A literally is beautifully encasing your cells, protecting them. Why is that important? Well, that's like putting on some armor around yourself to, so the, the virus particles can't even get in, they can't even connect to those receptors. That's why this is important. It's really, really important to understand the power of A and D as a preventative as well as a curative uh, measure for you, for you or people who are under stress, okay? So there you go, vitamin DNA. Now, having given that, let's talk about hydroxychloroquine. Okay, everyone ready? Everyone ready for hydroxychloroquine? If you wanna tweet everyone that hydroxychloroquine's coming, you may wanna let them know that, okay? Let's talk about hydroxychloroquine. Everyone's heard about this, but what is it, okay? So hydroxychloroquine, you know, by the way, it's preventative. Um, there's a number of people saying it, um, and there seems to be some very 
positive beneficial effects of it giving it way earlier on. Again, we've talked about the critically ill. Forget hydroxychloroquine there. You got to hit them with the vitamin C IV. But now we're talking about people who think they're going to get it as a preventative. So what people have said is, hey, let's give people hydroxychloroquine as a measure. President Trump has said this. And so I want to have a objective view of this, okay? Um, and what you see here is, in fact, the Indian Council of Medical Research recommended all healthcare workers, those who are involved in the care. Hello everyone, we're going to start shortly. We'll be bringing in people from Periscope. This is Dr. Shiva Adure. I hope everyone's doing well. And, and disrupt the bacteria. So, so, so bottom line, <laughs> again, this is not my work. You know, uh, what I'm a systems guy, I put together and connect the dots. Red, you know, walls. So these are cytokeratins, okay? Very much like vitamin C supports it. The vitamin A does it even more directly, okay? Vitamin A literally is beautifully encasing your cells, protecting them. Why is that important? Well, that's like putting on some armor around yourself to, so the, the virus particles can't even get in. They can't even connect to those receptors. That's why this is important. It's really, really important to understand the power of A and D as a preventative as well as a curative uh, measure for you for you or people who are under stress okay so there you go vitamin dna now having given that let's talk about hydroxychloroquine okay everyone ready everyone ready for hydroxychloroquine if you want to tweet everyone that hydroxychloroquine's coming you may want to let them know that okay let's talk about hydroxychloroquine everyone's heard about this but what is it okay so hydroxychloroquine you know by the way it's preventative um, there's a number of people saying it, um, and there seems to be some very positive beneficial effects of it, giving it way earlier on. Again, we've talked about the critically ill. Forget hydroxychloroquine there. you got to hit them with the vitamin C IV. But now we're talking about people who think they're going to get it as a preventative. So what people have said is, hey, let's give people hydroxychloroquine as a measure. President Trump has said this. And so I want to have an objective view of this, okay? Um, and what you see here is, in fact, the Indian Council of Medical Research recommended all healthcare workers, those who are involved in the care of suspected confirmed cases of COVID-19, take around 400 milligrams twice a day uh, on day one, followed by 400 milligrams once weekly for the next seven weeks to be taken with meals. And they also said asymptomatic households, which means people are not showing the sympt symptoms, uh, uh, household contacts of laboratory confirmed cases, may be prescribed 400 milligrams twice a day on day one followed by 400 milligrams once weekly for the next three weeks to be taken with meals. So what this is saying is that if you are a medical worker and you're interacting with people who may have it, if um, you went to a lab, you know, you went to visit someone, that this could be protective for you. So what is hydro, uh, hydroxychloroquine and how does it work? So I want to educate you on this because again, the media does jack about this. They don't really, they either take Fauci's positions or they want to promote, so very few people want to promote Trump's position, but, um, or they promote it. Some people do, some of the grifters will support it, right? The people on Fox or CNN, they'll support it without really understanding why. But it's important that we go back to basic science. This is not a left or right issue. This is about life and death. It's not left or right. It's not Republican or Democrat. So let's talk about that. So what are we talking about here? So let me go back to the slides here. So what are we talking about? So here, what we're talking about is, um, let me uh, take you a closer look here. 
if you look at the cell wall here, that's what we're looking at. So we're looking at a wall. And as I've shared before, this little orange substance is called the ACE2 receptor. Well, guess what? The, the virus, the way it enters the cell,